Okay, I've tried to make this video a bunch of times, but something went wrong every time, so let's see how this one turns out. I want to, uh, this is my new high visibility GPA, GPS based instrument cluster. So I'm riding along here at 60 miles an hour. Let me, let me get into, okay, now I've got the azimuth up there. So I'm going at 57 miles an hour at 194 is my course over ground. So this is just um, an ESP32. Okay, we're going into a curvy area, so you ought to see the course over ground changing a lot. Um, this is an ESP32, uh, a Chinese-made, supposed to be a U-Blox GPS module. It's not really. But it works almost like a U-Blox GPS module. And then four of these 8x8 LED matrices with the, um, a driver that allows it to run with SPI. So that's basically it. It's uh, taking a reading every couple of seconds. Uh, let's see. And then it, it kind of averages. It puts them in a buffer for two readings, takes the average, and uses that. So that's my big, that's my speed. Let me get back, that's that's the time. Okay, and then here's my speed with cardinal direction. So we're headed southwest. So it's working pretty well. I originally wanted to make a heads up display and reflect it off the window, but it turns out you get a reflection from the front of the window and the back of the glass, you know, back and front of the glass, so you get two reflections, and that just kind of messes everything up. So I put it into this little queue here. All right, now when we stop, it'll go to zero, and then it goes to the time, so that means we're not getting a reading anywhere. All right, let's get going again. You know, this is, it's based on the GPS, two points on the GPS, and that's what it takes to get a speed, and also that's what it takes to get your course over ground. So your actual, the actual course over ground now is 305. Now that's measured from true north. So it takes, I do, you know, you get two readings or the GPS is actually supplying this, the module does, the U-Blox module. So you can get speed. It's actually a knot, so you have to convert it to this is miles per hour. And the course over ground comes out, you know, like this, true north. So you can convert it to an azimuth or whatever you want. But if you're not moving, you don't get any reading. So that's when I go just go to the clock when I'm not moving. And actually the clock, so let me get around here to the clock mode. Yeah, there's the clock. A lot of people don't realize that for a uh, that for a project, if you can put a GPS module on there, then the the clock from the GPS is extremely accurate. Even if you're not doing any compensation or that sort of thing, it's extremely accurate because GPS is based on timing. You know how long it takes a signal come from multiple satellites to your location and that's how they're used you know that's what GPS is so the time on there is is really good so that's basically it I was I, I tried to make the video a couple of times messed it up and then I uh, finally gave it to my dad and he's been using it because it's this high visibility he loves it so he doesn't have to look at his instrument cluster all the time with his bifocals so he can see this real easily looks like we got a broken down log truck here but I finally got it back from him today because he, he actually wanted me to reprogram it a little bit and uh, change the time mode uh, so I decided I'd go ahead and, and film it. Since we're locked up here, let me... Here's the GPS module there.
I mean, that's the ESP32. There's the GPS module. There's the GPS antenna. Just put it on a little board here. All right, we're moving again. What a lot of excitement today. So I just stuck that GPS module and the ESP32 on the board and then it goes out. It's using, um, so the, using serial to talk to the ESP32 module and then I'm using SPI. I mean, you know, the old style serial for the ESP30 module, uh, for the GPS module and then SPI for these things so that it actually inputs to here and then these are daisy chained together so it goes to one, two, three, four of those eight by eight grids to give you this 16 by 16 grid. Of course I had to write my own fonts because this is the one this is the one I like the most. Of course none of the libraries out there have big fonts like that so I made my own fonts put that in there. And then everything's on a little motherboard. You can maybe see that motherboard in there. And then there's a battery in the bottom of the thing. So it charges up from the USB port. That's part of the, uh, the ESP32 dev board has a charger on it. So I can just use that. Okay, that's pretty much it. I've got big speed. 1960s computer thing. That's your time in seconds. That is your speed and your cardinal direction. And that is your speed and your azimuth from true north and back to the big speed. So there we go. It works great. I love it. Actually, my dad loves it, so he's probably going to get it back and, and start using it. I think we'll park for a minute.
Oh!